The entrance of the word is light. The word is light. And light is revelation. And revelation is power. Sit back and listen to God's servant as he, led by the insight of the spirit, enlightens your understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, people, impossible becomes possible. Oh, when you hold my hands, oh, everything becomes possible. When you hold, when you hold my hands, impossible becomes possible. When you hold. When you hold my hand, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hand, impossible becomes possible. Can you just say, Father, hold my hand tonight? Hold my hand tonight. Hold my hand tonight. Hold my hand tonight. Hold my hand tonight. I want the possibilities in my life. Father, hold my hands. As I begin to pray, Father, hold my hands. Yata parato shanadelaka. Yata shudre kapande. As I begin to pray, Father, hold my hands. Yes, shoot a rabbit at the day. Merosi tempelete. Yes, shoot a rabbit. It becomes possible when you hold my hand. Impossible becomes possible oh, when you hold my hand. Everything becomes possible when you hold my hand. Impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand. And everything becomes possible when you hold my hand. Impossible becomes possible. Come on, pray. Pranda, oh man, the Kelianda tapoto le brandi kupta. Ilenda jade bo palata la baso. Irande kile kufrande leke. When you hold. Everything becomes possible. Mandi kupra dala bate. Mandi kile kupra dala. Umende leki ana manda lata. We are not passing the battle. Lord Jesus, hold my hand. Don't roll my same drop, but I know In where Jesus you are. My hands. Amen. Hold someone's hand. Let us pray. Men ought always to pray. I see an obstruction in their spirits. I see an obstruction in their spirits. Why is the keyboard so low? 
I see an obstruction in their spirits. When God holds your hand, please, if you are not playing the keyboard, hold someone's hand. When God holds your hand, everything becomes possible. When God holds your hand, there is nothing like limitation. There's nothing like limitation. When he holds your hand, things that are not naturally possible with men becomes possible. That's how strong it is. Can you pray that prayer again? Lord, hold my hands. Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, he leads me. Lord, hold my hands. In the man de koprundi and the man de terebos. Itele tele ke tele man di koprande le koprende ata. Rutu pele de le boprande te le komanda kata. Roto potele ke de le komandi de le man de le ke. Shisha de le botuna man de le ko. Lord, hold my hands. Randa bahashke baranda su. Roto le botule ke le koprende man de. Sike le kotoska ni Jesusa. Randa le botule man de ata. Ruko pote le boprande le 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 man de. Hold my hand, Jesus. I am made of my mind. That we serve you for life. Breathe on me, oh Lord. Breathe on me. And I am made of my mind. To serve you for life. Breathe on me, oh Lord. Breathe on me. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. We wait on you, and Lord, we wait on you. I wait on you, Lord. I wait on you. Can you play on me? We wait on you, play on bass, please. And Lord, I wait for you. For you are the light of the world that stepped down into darkness. Will you open my eyes? Let me see that the beauty that made. For here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You are all. I am not my calabash. I am not my lata. Like fire, like rain, let your glory cover us. And like fire, and like rain, let it come. Come on, pray for yourself, Lord Jesus. Hold my hand. Randa arako sekete shada. Sinatosa yamakata. Yele kete supra nakata. Yele lele shene mana makaska bale bala basha na ba. Lead me Jesus, lead me lande kola basula ba. Oh, my life will never remain the same again. Hey. Hey, hey, I want to come back to my mind. That we serve you of my life. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. He has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. 
I will not seek you in vain. I will not seek you in vain. I will don't be tired of praying men ought always to pray let it be, let it be, let it be. There's gonna be an answer. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. When you open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. When you open the floodgates of heaven. Father, let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floor gates of heaven. Let it rain. Hallelujah. Hear me. There is something about prayer. There is something about prayer. And there is a mindset people have cultivated about prayer for so long. And that is why they don't receive anything. Remember, a double-standed man, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways and cannot receive. A lot of persons pray and think, many people don't have the belief that they can pray now and get the answer now. Many persons don't believe they can pray now and get the answer now. Yes, we know prayer is a seed. But there are some prayer points that grow quickly. <laughs> Am I communicating? You can pray right now and get an answer right now. That's what is called the prayer of faith. He like said the prayer of faith shall save such a one. I don't know your mindset about prayer, but I came, I came to tell you this evening that you can pray and get an answer now. You can pray right now and receive an answer right now. Can you open your mouth? Whatever you desire. Say, Lord, I believe. 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 Sadly, sadly, we will look just like you. Sadly, sadly, we will look just like you. Oh, sadly, sadly, we will look just like you. Suddenly, suddenly, we will lose just like Oh, suddenly, suddenly, we will lose just like you. I am a caparaba de sopranata. We will lose just like you. Suddenly, suddenly, we will lose 
just like you. Hey, come on, pray. Don't be tired. We will soon look like him. You are molding yourself into an image. Young nations arise, arise and pray. Hey, young nations arise, arise again. Oh, young nations arise, arise again. Immortal men arise again. Young nations arise. Immortal songs arise again. Young nations arise. Men of prayers arise again. Your visions arise. Oh, men of fire arise again. Your visions arise. Oh, immortal men arise again. Your visions arise. Immortal men arise again. Your visions arise. The watchmen. Again, young Asians arise. Young Asians arise, break out and shine. Oh, young Asians arise, arise and pray. Oh, young Asians arise, arise and pray. Don't be tired of praying. Take that wait upon the Lord. He will renew their strength. Don't be tired. Pray. Don't be tired. I will not stop until I prevail. In Jesus' name we pray. The best food, one of the best food that Christian must take is prayer food. Prayer compels you. Prayer modifies you to become like him. Remember, now we the son of God and we does not yet appear how we shall be. But how be it when we shall see him, we, we know we'll look like him. And one of the ways to conform into that image of Christ is through prayers. There is a lot happen whenever we pray. Whenever we pray, there are adjustments that are made in the spirit. Whenever we pray, there are editings that happen in the spirit. Whenever we pray, there are possibilities that we break into. I told you something about the man called Daniel. Daniel requested for something from heaven. Now, the stuff was coming, but that was hijacked. I told you it was hijacked because of the level and the stature of Daniel. But Daniel prayed, he broke a realm in the spirit. And he invoked another angel to come to the head of that first angel that was hijacked. So there is something about prayer. It leads you to the level of stature. It gives you height in the spirit. I said something about prayer. I said whenever you pray, there is an atmosphere that follows you. There is an atmosphere that follows men of prayer. For there are angels in heaven that hold the vias of prayers that are made on it. Prayer is powerful. The Bible says, greater work shall you do. The greater work is prayer. Prayer is the greater work. If you can pray, you can control anything. If you can pray, you can change anything. If you can pray, you can turn anything around. There is something about prayer. It is powerful. Prayer is so powerful. Prayer is so powerful. It's a mystery that many persons have not come into the realization of. A mystery. I will never stop praying. Until I have it, I will never stop praying. Even if I have it, I will never stop praying. You can bring nations to their knees if you can pray. You can bring things to balance if you can pray. Can you open your mouth and pray? You can change the course of all things. Pray, Lord Jesus. 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 Pray,
Rotondo, 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 Rotond
when the Lord was speaking to me concerning that young man, I was looking at him. I said, I know this guy now. He's a student. I know him very well. So what's the connection between him and contract? The Lord kept reminding me, talking to me about it. I just had to call the guy out and I spoke to him. When we were done with service, the guy brought a certificate out and said, take. Yesterday I registered my company. Say, pray for my company. I said, what? You have a company? He said, he registered it just yesterday. That was Saturday. It's possible. Open your hands. I'm going to pray for you. The Lord wants to anoint your heart. Yes. This is a season of angels. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Lord, we anoint our eyes with fire. With fire. With fire. With fire. Lay your hands on your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, let our eyes be open to spiritual realities. Impartations. It is done. In Jesus' name. We started a, t- a teaching on angels as at Sunday, the ministry of angels. I just want us to round it up today. Just want to balance some things that we talked about last time. Give me volume and just play on strings. May I take your strings. Amen. Pastor, so I'll the keyboard for me. Amen. Hallelujah. The ministry of angels, part two. Father, we pray as we break this bread tonight, let our eyes be open. Let us have in-depth study of your word. We pray nothing, absolutely nothing, shall distract us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Psalms 8, verse 5. On Sunday, I said a lot of things about angels. We discussed a lot about angels. I would say that angels are ministry spirits and they were sent to us who are the heirs of salvation. Angels are ministering spirits. We establish the fact that angels are spirits. Get the audio. The audio is available. We establish the fact that angels are spirits and that they can also appear as human. Right? We, we talked a lot about angels. We did a rough study about angels. Today we just want to round up that teaching on angels. Some of us we are testifying angelic activities. Does not yet appear, it shall be. Can we have that scripture? Psalms. Who is there? Someone asked me a question last time. That's why I'm bringing this uh, scripture up. Up. He said something. He said, "Sir, you said that humans are higher than angels." But what does the Bible say? Are humans higher than angels biblically? Amen. Can we have that scripture? Okay, let's get the concept or the context rightly. Go, go back to verse 4. Hallelujah. What is man? This is an angel speaking. For even one of the angels asked, he said, Who is man? That you are mindful of him. Yes? That the son of man that thou visited him. Hallelujah. He said, For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. God bless you. This was an angel. Permit me to say this. This was a jealous angel asking a question. There's something called godly jealousy. It's not the evil jealousy that we have around that tends to lead to destructions of life and not the rest. No. This was a godly jealousy. An angel asked the question. He said, who is man that you are so mindful of him? I believe this question was thrown to God. He said, who is man that you are this mindful of him? I believe that revelation was given by a psalmist because that's in the book of Psalms. He said, who is man that you are mindful of him? Who is this person? We are in heaven. We do everything for you. Whatever you ask, we give it to you. Whatever you desire, we grant you. Who is this man that you are so mindful of him? We are in heaven. Is it that you don't appreciate our work? 
Who is man that you are mindful of him? You put everything under man. Remember what happened in the Genesis? He said, subdue. Take over. I give you charge over the earth. You placed everything under him, yet you still love him so much. Who is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you even visit him. In other words, God visits men. And the angel said something. He said, you have made him a little lower. You've even made him a little lower than the angels. Amen. And that was where yeah, the person was asking me a question from. He says, so you said uh, we are higher than angels. How come in this scripture they say we are higher than angels? Now, the right translation for that, I'm not talking about the King James translation now. That's the whole testament. Speaking of the Hebrew translation, it's not angels in that word. I've explained it here before. He has made him a little lower than Elohim. Am I communicating there? In the read translation, it is he has made him a little lower than Elohim. Elohim is God. But men were scared. I believe the in this translation translators were afraid. And they said, Oh, no, 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 we can't put it that way. Let's reduce it. It's too high. They fear. You get your Hebrew uh, uh, translations and you get many things right. He said, You have made him a little lower than Elohim. Who is this man? That after you, you placed him. And this provoked the angel to jealousy. So man is higher than angels. Amen. Don't forget you are going to judge angels. You only judge a man you are higher than. Am I communicating? So establish that. Let's move forward. We have a lot to cover tonight. I pray the Lord open our eyes in Jesus' name. I pray God open someone's eyes in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In John chapter 1 verse 12, the Bible says something. I want to show you something. I, thought, I said something yesterday. Was it yesterday? Or Sunday? I said something. I said for us to understand angels and even our lives as Christians, we must understand the finished work of Christ. We talk about our identity in Christ. New creation realities. And it must be thought and balance. I believe next week is Easter week. You are going to do a lot about new creation realities. Understand you, you are in Christ. And act to act as a man in Christ. For an heir, as long as he's a child, is not different from a slave. Until he's put under the, uh, the director of tutors and governors. We are great to know himself better. Okay, now we are saying something here. That for us to understand and even enjoy God... We must know who we are in Christ. Remember, we are sons of God. I established that on Sunday. Many of us were here. I established that. I said that there are no daughters. Though, both male and female are regarded as what? Sons. Amen. The Lord grants you understanding. Amen. So, in John chapter 1 verse 12, who is there? What did the Bible say? For as many that received him, to them gave he power. To become who? Sons. Anyone that received him, he gave power to become sons. Don't forget what I told you. Angels are servants. My was uh, where? Angels are servants. As many that receive him, gave him power to become sons. And now we are the sons of God. We received him. Right? Having received him, what next? We became sons. To the blood. When we accepted Christ, we became sons of God. Now we are sons of God. And there is no way a messenger is higher than a son in the Father's house. Angels are messengers. We are sons. Anywhere you see Christ is where we fall into that's what the Bible says. If any man be in Christ, I, I sense the spirit. I sense an angel of the Lord's presence in this place. If any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a son. And if any man be in Christ, anywhere you see Christ is, the, is where that man is. Remember what the Bible says? We are seated with him in heavenly places, far above all principalities. 
Anywhere you see Christ is where the believer stands. Anywhere you see Christ is where the believer is in the spirit. Amen. Why the victory is for us. So we are the sons and they are just messengers. And a son is higher than a messenger in the, in the house of his father. Remember, God is our father. And when you pray, say what? Our father. May God help us in the name of Jesus. In the book of 1 John 3 verse 2, the Bible says, Now are we the sons of God. Open it. I know some of you don't believe you are sons. You still believe you are slaves to God. <laughs> we must open people to the reality of who they are in Christ. 1 John 3 verse 2. Who is there? Beloved, now are we what? The sons of God. Yes? It does not yet appear what we shall be. That's when we die. We shall be like him. Hallelujah. Suddenly, suddenly, we will look just like him. When he shall appear just suddenly, we will look just like him. Hallelujah. He said, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear it shall be. But to the case he appears, we know that we shall be like him. Even if he appears, we know we are going to carry the charisma, the image, like Christ. That possibility that are inherent in him. In him do all fullness joy. And so also he shall all dwell in us. May God help us in Jesus' name. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, he said we were, yeah, a choosy generation, a royal priesthood, those who were once, we are not a people of God, but now a people of God. In other words, when Christ died, we, we were granted access by his blood to become sons. The Bible says that when we were yet in sin, when we were yet dead in sin, that was when Christ died for us. The blood of Jesus came as an avenue for reconciliation of man back to the Father. Read the book of Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 4. You see that the blood of Jesus came for reconciliation. We are no longer enemies of God. We became children of God by reason of his blood. When Jesus died, he said it is finished. He made sin to the cross. He destroyed the sin nature. Granting us access to the Father. You remember what I said? The curtain was torn in pieces that every man cannot behold. For as we constantly behold, we become. We are free now to access the Father. We don't need to do ram and all these things. By his blood, he purchased us. By his blood, he bought us out of the life of sin. Where we are dead in. And brought us to the life in Christ, which is eternal life. Am I communicating? Now, when he brought us to that eternal life, we became the sons of God. We are once dead, you see. That was what he was trying to explain there. He said before we are not his people, but now we are his people. Not just that we are not his people, we are now a choosy generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people who has brought us out of darkness. We have been translated into his marvelous light. Am I communicating? So you are a son. And as a son, you are higher than any servant. That is why you can control angels. They will listen to you. If you understand your sonship. Amen. Hallelujah. I have a lot to explain tonight. Acts chapter 12 verse 15. I think I will not be reading, will not be reading all of them. We will just look at them one after the other. In Acts chapter 12 verse 15. Let's continue our teaching on angels. In Acts chapter 12, verse 15, the Bible records that a little girl came out when the door was knocked. As at that time, or at that point in time, they were praying for a man called Peter to come out of the prison. Remember, pretty, uh, Peter was arrested. When Peter was arrested, they were praying for him to come out of the prison. And why they were praying. That was why I said something just now. I said, if you are a person that is praying, you must have this prayer of faith that what I pray for, I can receive it right now. The people we are praying to God 
to me, they were praying to an unknown God because they have no direct access or no close relationship with this God. They didn't believe that they could pray and get an answer instantly. They were used to this way of praying and then getting an answer after 12 days, after 3 days. But this time around, why they held their hands and were praying? And they were praying, say, Lord, release Peter. They were praying. The church was gathered together and they were praying. Lord, release Peter. God, release Peter. Release Peter so that the work can continue. Someone knocked at the door. And a little girl, I believe Rhoda, went to the door and opened the door. I saw Peter. I closed the door again. I said, that can't be Peter. I said, that must be the be an angel. Am I communicating? He said, that's Peter's angel. That's to tell you that every man has angel. And that angel looks like him. Every man has an angel that looks like him. An angel that carries his face. An angel that carries his look, his character, his mindset. Everything about him, there is an angel in the spirit that carries your face. Everything. And that's the angel that appeared to people in their dreams. And they say, yesterday I saw you in my dream. You were telling me you were having a headache. And truly, you were having a headache in the physical. An angel that carries your physique. That carries everything about you. That's the same angel that can carry your mother to your helper. That's the same angel that can carry whatever you have to someone who can help you. It's an angel that can assist your business. Start distributing your issue to people. Start waking up at night to have trances of and dreams of you and many things about what you are doing. Is an angel. Yesterday night, I was dreaming and I saw Pastor Clinty. It was not Pastor Clinty. Pastor Clinty was lying down in his house. It was the angel. Clinty. That was an understanding that those little children had. And he said, leave that one. That, that can't be Peter. That must be Peter's angel. Am I communicating? So there is an angel that carries the physique of man. But don't forget, even the devil himself can disguise himself as an angel of light. If there is ever a manipulation in the spirit that brings about something evil about a man. For example, this man sleeps and this guy has good intention towards this man. But because he's not praying half one spiritual enough, then he has a dream that this guy was chasing him with a matches and told him all the days of your life I will kill you. I'm just your friend. I'm just acting like one. Don't mind me in the physical. I will kill you. And maybe this guy had nothing like that in his heart. There is a manipulation. There is a perversion. And that is witchcraft. We discussed something about witchcraft and I told you witchcraft is to manipulate. They manipulate people. They are dominant in nature. They just want to pull you into that form where you become subject to them. Am I speaking here? So the same way an angel can carry your face and distribute something good for you and go about to make something good for you, a demon spirit can act as an angel of light and, dis- and destroy your reputation before people. That's why everyone needs to be prayerful. Everyone needs to be prayerful. Many people stop receiving help from above. Many people stop receiving help from the people around them because in the realm of the spirit there is a misunderstanding of who they are. There is a misjudgment of their identity. Amen. Every time you carry your CV to give someone to help you look for a job, but then whenever you give it to him, that night he sees you fighting him in the dream and he says, look at who I want to help. And maybe you don't even have such attention. That's a manipulation. A pure manipulation from hell. Anyone that is not prayerful is at risk. Many people may not tell you the dreams they have about you. They may not tell you the things they've seen about you. But you just see them rejecting you, staying away from you. It's a product of that manipulation. The devil himself can disguise as an angel of light. Give me volume. Hallelujah. The Lord grant us understanding. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Let's see that. Second Corinthians 11 verse 4. 14, sorry. 11 verse 14. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14. Who is there? Okay. 
let's get another person to read, yes? He said, don't be surprised. For who? For even Satan himself can transform as an angel of light. Satan himself can transform himself as an angel of light. He can act like an angel of light and deceive many. Remember the Bible says we shall judge angels. When an angel brings an information for you, I told you the responsibilities of angels. They, are, they bring information, they bring inspiration, they bring, they come to destroy. I mentioned them for you on Sunday, right? Go back to that message. Amen. I gave you about five functions of an angel or of angels. I gave you functions of angels. If an angel should supply you an information, you must judge that information. If you don't judge that information, demonic spirits can supply you information in the form of an angel. Am I communicating? Every information, every inspiration, every direction given to you by an angel must be judged. Even if the angel appeared to you in your room when you were alone, judge it with the word of God. Judge it with the word of God. An angel that appears to you and brings something contrary to what God has told you is not from God. It's an angel disguising himself as the angel of light. You must judge everything. That is why it is very risky and very wrong for anyone to depend on any other voices outside the voice of the Holy Spirit. The only voice that is to be trusted 100% is the still small voice. Don't see fire and be in a hurry to think that that is the voice of God. Remember Elijah? Elijah saw the fire, yet God was not in it. We call fire the thing that represents the Holy Spirit. But the fire came and God was not in it. Something else came. God was not in it. Finally, there came a still small voice. At the point in time, a prophet called Elisha needed to hear some things concerning what was happening in the land. And he needed to deliver it to the king of the land. I believe he was hearing so many voices. There were so many distractions in the atmosphere. And he said, look for a man for him, for me. Let him play me a mystery so that I can hear the still small voice. A God's general who, whenever an angel appeared, the miraculous, he carries the miraculous power and a lot of things start happening. He doubted because he was depending too much on an angel. Soon an angel that looks like the angel of God appeared and he could not discern. A general. One of his weakness. Things that led to the fall of generals. Depending on angels. You don't depend on angels. God can speak through enemies. God can speak through diverse means. That does not mean you must depend on an angel. Am I speaking? One of the voices you must hold firm and strong is the still small voice, which is the voice of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the only one that was regarded in the full Bible as holy. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Every other spirit, be it ministering spirits, they can misbehave. Any other spirit can misbehave. I believe till now, some angels may still be falling because there are imperfections and weaknesses in angels. So a fallen angel can appear to you and disguise himself as an angel of light. Don't over depend on angels. Depend on the still small voice. God will choose to use whatever he wants to use to communicate with you. But depend on the still small voice. It's the surest voice in the kingdom. Am I speaking? I know you want to see angels. You want to see a lot of things. And notice that an angel can still preach also. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 8, Paul says something. Galatians 1 8. He said, even if an angel appear and tells you anything contrary to what we have preached to you, he said, let that angel be cursed because that angel is not from God. Every angel that comes from the Lord is carrying the message of God. Remember what I said on Sunday? That angels go with the voice of God, which is the word of God. And anytime they appear, whatever they tell you must be in line either with the scripture or what God has told you before. God cannot speak the second time when you did not hear the first time. Hallelujah. You are the one to hear twice. You must hear the first and hear the second. 
So when God sends an angel to you, that angel is carrying mysteries, he's carrying revelation, he's carrying packages, he may carry children, he may carry whatever it is that he wants to carry. But that must tally with the word of an angel cannot appear to you and say, God has given you a child, but God says, I should collect the child again. That is not an angel of light. That is an angel appearing as an angel of light. It's an impersonation in the spirit. You must be spiritual and discerning to know when a demon angel is speaking to you. There are inspirations that people receive. They are not from God. It doesn't matter how long you have been in the Christian fold. It doesn't matter if you have been a Christian for 30, 50, 100 years. It is still possible for you to get an inspiration from demons. And you bring that revelation with so much conviction. Thinking that it was God. Meanwhile, it was not God. The Bible talks about forbidden knowledge. It talks about the demons of spirit of uh, demons. There are de- uh, doctrines of demons. Sorry, there are doctrines of demons perpetrated from hell, infiltrated into the lives of people, and they go about carrying them about thinking that they've seen life. Meanwhile, they are walking deeper and deeper into darkness. Most of the teachings and the extremism we have in the body of Christ is a function of fallen angels and demon spirits. People say, let us move out of the word of God. Let us hear something extraordinary. Let's act deep. Let's get deep messages. Deep things are not for everyone. When God decides to reveal deep things to you, be grateful. But if he does not decide to reveal it, use the one you have. Hence, you will dabble into something else. You will dabble into mysticism. You will dabble into spiritism. And then you become a false prophet. Am I communicating? Angel of lies. So they can minister. He said, if it, even if an angel appear and speak to you deep mysteries, I told you whenever fallen angels appear, they carry mysteries, true mysteries. But these mysteries, they pervert these mysteries to teach something contrary. They can appear to Pastor Clinton and tell Pastor Clinton that we have mysteries to make money. But what you need to do is to bring your child. And they will give him the mysteries. But then he sees himself walking contrary to the word of God. Amen. May God help us in Jesus' name. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are almost coming to the close so that we can take questions. Amen. Amen. A man without a helper is a leper. Write it down. A man without a helper is a leper. The beginning of struggles in your life is when you lack helpers. I know I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. And I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. Amen. A man without a helper is a leper. Everyone needs a helper in life. You need helpers. You need helpers. Angels are spiritual helpers sent to man to help him. When God wants to assist you, he sends angels. So God can send many things, but angels are one of the things that God sends, or one of the spirits that God sends to help a man. I told you there are many kinds of angels. They can help you in different forms. As a businessman, in your academic feed, in whatever sphere of life you see yourself, you need helpers. And angels are helpers. Publicity can be done by angels. Am I speaking? Publicity can be done by angels. The voice of a man cannot go far. It needs a spiritual voice to echo throughout the federation and takes him, take him far. You need the voice of one in the spirit. Am I communicating? So as in school, in whatever you find yourself, please don't get it wrong. An angel can speak through your friend. Am I communicating? Studying a book, rushing in for an exam, and he just calls you back and says, oh, "Have you read the Bible? Uh, have you read preposition?" 
And you say, ah, are you sure it will come outside? So just read it. And you just read it up. And you just enter the hall. The first question is about preposition. That was an angel. He released an inspiration to your friend. And your friend was able to pass it. Flesh and blood did not reveal it. It was their spirits. Am I communicating? So you need angels in whatever you are doing. To do your business alone is to enroll for death. To be doing business alone, doing the activities of life alone as a spiritual man is to enroll for death. The essence of spirits in our life, especially as Christians, is to make our activity easier. Our activities to be easier for us. We have the Holy Spirit to help our infirmities. For we know not how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit beckons on us and helps our infirmities. He, he, he carries things for us. Our limitations, our weaknesses, He helps us. Right? Now we have angels as messengers. We can send them to go do things for us. As you wake up in the morning, as you do anything at all, wake up in the morning and begin to command your angels. Tell them, I send you out to bring good news. I send you out to prepare my way. I send you out to speak on people on my behalf. Angels can take the numbers, the full numbers of men and start distributing it. I've seen someone who said that a woman called him and said, I saw your number in a dream. He called him and came down to own those things all the way from Lagos. The woman has never seen this guy before. He said, I saw your number in my dream. Hallelujah. I saw your number in my dream. And he called the guy. And he came down to see the guy. And he gave the guy something. Angels still distribute numbers. So in your business, in your career, in whatever you do, you need angels. You need messengers. Angels are helpers. Helpers of destinies. Helpers. They can carry messages for you. They can transport anything for you. Forget about Jumia. Forget about email and uh, Facebook. They, ca- they carry things faster. They are called angels of light. <laughs> and light is the fastest. Amen. May God help us. So you need helpers in whatever you do. Even as a business person. Even as a career man or a career woman. As a pastor, you need... In fact, there is an angel called the angel of the church that was the book of Revelation. I said something, I said a little thing about the angel of the church. Right? Now, the angel of the church is the angels that conducts publicity in the church. No matter the evangelism you do as a minister of the gospel, it may yield nothing until that angel is activated. No matter the follow-up you think you know how to follow up. Remember Pastor Clinton back then when we used to go out for evangelism? <laughs> we were doing evangelism back to back, but there was no fruit. Except the Lord built the city. The laborers, they are just working in vain. But when the angels of the church are activated, easily, people walk in. The people don't just walk in. They are compared by a force and on no force. A body remains at rest until an external force acts upon it. People stand wherever they are. People sit down in their houses until something touches them to come to church. They don't just come to church. Something moves them. There is a force. And it's the force of the spirits. Sometimes the force of an angel. The Bible says, and then an angel smooths him by his side. Talking about the man called Israel. Who was Jacob before. An angel smoothed him by his side. And he stood up. To compel helpers, to compel buyers, to compel good friends, you need angels. Angels can help you. They are helpers. They are sent to us. Who are the heirs of salvation? They are sent to us. Who are the heirs of salvation? May God help us in Jesus' name. When the angel of the church is active, when an angel of the church is active, which of course it takes prayer for that angel to be active. When the angel of the church is active, when a danger is coming, he reveals it. He reveals it. Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus writes, send this message to the angel of the church in Ephesus. Let him remind them that they are going astray. Let him remind them that they have God has one thing or Jesus has one thing against them. Yes, they are praying, they are fasting, but there is an aspect they are lagging behind. Right. 
Revelations chapter 2, I believe. Letters were written to many churches and they were written to the angels of the churches. So when that angel is active, it can detect or sense danger coming. Like what happened of recent? The Lord asked us to go into fasting and prayers for seven days. The reason was not known. But I know there's something coming up. And it's something that needs to be averted. It takes an angel of the church to get that alert. That something evil is coming. And then prepare. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. So we need helpers. We need helpers. We need helpers. We need customers. We need people. You're going about your sharing of complimentary card cannot go far. You need spiritual aid. When you are helped spiritually, everything around you goes well. Everything around you goes well. Let's round up. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 23. I'm going to round up here. Give me volume. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 23. Let's read. The end part says what? And to the spirits of just men made perfect. Yesterday I explained something about ministry spirits. Sorry or Sunday. I explained something about ministry spirits. I of us can remember. I said angels fall into the class of ministry spirits. Are they not ministering spirits sent to us who are the heirs? Am I speaking? So angels fall into ministry spirits. I told you the Holy Spirit is under the category of ministry spirit also. But here there is something called the spirit of just men made perfect. The spirit of just men made perfect. They also fall under ministry spirits. Write it down. The spirit of just men made perfect falls under ministry spirits. Prepare me, Lord. Like your candle. Prepare me, Lord. Prepare me, Lord. Prepare me, Lord. Like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light my path. Light my soul. Light my heart, light my heart, light my soul. The spirit of just men made perfect. I know some of you are wondering what's the spirit of just men made perfect. They are still the same spirit that was recognized in the book of, I believe, Hebrews chapter 12. Seeing therefore that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. They are the cloud of witnesses. The cloud of witnesses are those who have gone on before us. Talk about men like Abraham, Samson, and all these generals you can think of in the Bible. Seeing therefore we are surrounded by this general, there are a cloud of witnesses. And they follow that, that ministry spirit. They can minister to us. Let me give you the definition of ministry spirit. Write this down. The spirit of just men made perfect or the cloud of witness. They are spirits encoded in human vessels. That represent systems or dimensions in God. There are spirits encoded in human vessels that represent systems or dimensions in God. They are potters. When you encounter them, something changes in your life. A man called Saul encountered a man called Samuel. The Bible says immediately he poured the oil. He became another man. That was a colossus, a potter in their spirits. So men like that, they are systems, prophetic voices. 
you can't encounter them and there is no shift in your destiny. Though that we can't classify them as ministry spirit because they are not dead yet. When Samuel was not dead, he was not yet in ministry spirit. Amen. But those that are dead, that have access to mysteries, they are ministry spirits. Something happened in the book of Matthew at Transfiguration. Bible students, at Transfiguration, what happened? Two men appeared. One was who? Elijah. And the other was what? Moses. And when the disciples saw them, very ignorant, they said, let us, <laughs> let us make tabernacle for them. How can you make tabernacle for spirits? And Jesus said, all these guys, they need to sleep again. <laughs> and they slept off. When they raised their head, they didn't see anything again. Hallelujah. Do you know what happened in that place? There was a coronation that was occurring in that place. Let's see to scriptures before we go deep into the spirit of just men. To the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. Romans chapter 3 verse 19. Romans 3 verse 19. Who is there? Yes. He said to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the Lord, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophet. The righteousness of what? Of God was manifested, being witnessed by what? The law and the prophets. I won't go deep into that. Let me hold on. When you see red naturally, what does it tell on you? Deja. Stop. Don't move. So also the spirit of just men, they are systems representing dimensions in their spirit. That when you see them, they represent different things, different dimensions of God. They are systems. So the disciples, they saw a man called Elijah standing. Who told them that was Elijah? There was no picture then. Who told them that was Moses? Okay, that's go on and study that for yourself. So they saw a man, Moses, standing. They saw another man, Elijah, standing. To them, who they saw was Elijah. But they were not aware that the people they were looking at were systems that carries dimension in their spirit. That's why the Bible says there. Look at what the Bible says there. It said righteousness was established in the place where the law and the prophets were standing. Moses represented the law. The law came by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Elijah represents the prophets. Grace was established that day. A coronation where we have the law, the prophets standing. It was in the face of the law and the prophets that grace came into be to establish the righteousness in God. Put us in the spirit. The spirit of just men made perfect. When they appear in a meeting like this, Pastor Chris was saying something. He said, do you know that they are watching this meeting from heaven right now? How many of us remember that audio clip? They are watching us from heaven right now. That is, there will be a ministry spirit present in that meeting. And for as long as those ministry spirits are present, every possibility that is inherent in that colossus or in that system can be manifested in that meeting. When Apostle Paul appears here, for example, there is a spirit of mysteries that begins to unveil to everyone that is here. And even the preacher that holds the mic, you find someone who has never given a sound revelation before, starts speaking mysteries like a, as though he sits and eats with God. One time I had an encounter with Apostle Paul and he was eating rice and I was eating rice with him. And then he got to the point, uh, my own got finished. I went to the port and I took more rice. And as I was coming back, I woke up. I knew I had entered into another realm and dimension. Why? I met with a system 
the spirit of just men made perfect. And when I stood up from that encounter, I sat down after I handled the mic two, three times, people were like, sir, what did you do? Did you touch something? Your messages are now too deep. How did you come about them? It was an encounter with a sister. The possibility you seek for, all you need is an encounter. The things you ask for, all you need is an encounter. Christianity without encounter cannot bring boldness. They cannot bring conviction. You can't be convinced of your spiritual work without an encounter. And as you minister and as you do things as a spiritual person, you need an encounter. The day you encounter the man called Job, a colossus in the aspect of business and spiritual things, you will you'll be very surprised. Any business you do, ideas for business comes. Success in business comes. You have encountered the spirits of just men. Amen. The pastor said something to me. He said, if you are a Bini pastor and you have never encountered Bishop with that, that your call is questionable. He may say that just jokingly, but the truth is that Idahosa is a potter in the Bini kingdom. You cannot mention Bini kingdom and the Christianity in this side without mentioning that man Idahosa. Because he was the one that brought many people into the limelight. So he became a potter in the spirit through which thousands that will become pastors in Bini city can access light. Even now, see now that he's dead, people still see him in their, uh, in their dreams. They still see him in their dreams. Why? He's a potter. And the day you see him in your dream, he may just lay hands on you. Yet, his partitions will still flow. Although dead, but his spirit. You need encounters. Systems that you cannot talk about a full issue without mentioning them. You can't talk about prophetic without mentioning Elijah. You can't talk about the law without mentioning Moses. They are systems. And there are still human and living systems. Even while on earth here. There are people you encounter a handshake, a prayer for you. And your life changed. You'll be surprised. you say, don't we preach to the same God? Don't we sing the same songs in church? But dimensions differ. It can be an, on an election of grace. Not because they are qualified. But they are just opportune. To be launched into it. I was sharing a story with them today, the pastors. I told them something about a story Pastor Suleiman shared. Apostle Suleiman. He said he used to have this friend. This friend, when they are fasting and praying, this guy will be eating. Fasting seriously and praying, this guy will be eating. So when they go for programs, this guy will sit down and be casting out demons. The guy that was eating. That was an election of grace and an encounter with a system. There are people that are three years old, their eyes have been opened in the prophetic because of ministering spirits. Ministering spirits. Ministering spirits. You can receive many things in the spirits. Don't limit God to just receiving the prophetic. Don't limit God to just receiving your school fees. Don't limit God to just receiving breakthrough in business. Everything is available in the spirits. The kingdom of God is within us and every man present. If you can press, you can have. If you can ask, you can receive. If you can knock, the door can be opened to you. You can become even a system in the spirits. A man met Samuel. And that was the end of his challenges. We can rise to a level of stature where we also become systems. The spirit of just men can also rest on us. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. John the Baptist came in the spirit of John the Baptist. Sorry, in the spirit of Elijah. Remember when they asked Jesus, who is he? He said he's Elijah. But they asked uh, the Baptist. John the Baptist said, I am not Elijah. Because he was not aware of the spirit walking in him. You can decide to be talking and just singing and just doing some things. But there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit may not be aware. But it's the spirit of just men. More like a recognition. Whenever you speak, the voice goes like the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Hallelujah. One day, a man spoke and 3,000 men gave their life to Christ. Imagine such spirits rest upon you. 
anywhere you go, you will minister and people will be falling under the anointing and be giving their life to Christ. Because their spirit has rested upon you. Sometimes I call people out, I tell you, I see Deborah in you. You may not understand what I'm saying or what I am saying. I'm trying to communicate to you that I see the spirit of uh, Deborah resident in your spirit. You are to rise to become a giant in the spirit. Don't die small. Don't die small. Many people are bold. They receive spirits that can liberate their families. But they don't know. I have said that year ago, but you die like men. Because rise up, let us pray. The spirit of just men made prophets. They are the mantles that the church needs. They are the mantles that are still available to men. They are the mantles that anyone can get. The spirit of Elijah. The spirit of the prophets. The spirit of just men made prophet. Say, Lord, I, I demand. I, I lay a, a demand on those spirits. Let them rest upon me. 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 The spirit of old. The spirit of old. The spirit of the prophet. The spirit of just men made prophet. The spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elisha. Let it rest upon me. The spirit of the Boras. Let it rest upon me. The spirit of just men made prophet. Let it rest upon me. The spirit of old, as it was in the days of my youth. It can rest upon you in this meeting. Let it rest. We not stop. Let it rest. Pray, let it rest upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Liba Hamakas Gabranadesh. The glory of the Lord is covering this room. Rest upon people, rest upon people, rest upon people, rest upon them. Fresh, fresh. Rest on them, rest on them. Rest on them, rest on them, rest on them. Mightily, mightily, mightily. Graces, anointings. Rest on them. Like fire, like rain, let the glory fall. Just like fire and like rain, let it fall. The lady at the back, lift up your hand. The lady at the back, lift up your two hands. Can we get an usher there? Let there be silence, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, select men and women of God. Select them. Select them. I see a breaking, 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 a breaking. A breaking. A breaking. I see stones breaking in their spirits. I see stones break. There is a crushing. There is a crushing. There is a crushing. We will not go back the same way we can. 
I see heavy metals. I see heavy metals. Mantles. These are mantles. They are heavy metals. They are heavy metals. Heavy. Immediately they saw Elijah. The sons of the prophet said something. They said the spirit of Elijah doth rest on the prophet. It becomes visible when the mantle is released. When the spirit, he said, Give me a double portion of your spirit. Give me a double portion of your spirit. Ketri Kumar is dead, but the spirit still lives. Alexander Dowie is dead, but the spirit still lives. Smith Wigglesworth is dead, but the spirit still lives. Elisha is dead, but the spirit still lives. The Bible study came to the point that the bones of Elisha touched a dead man and eject back to life. Lord, release your spirit. Release this spirit. Let them rest on me. I, I long for those mantles. Ancient mantles. Ancient power. Ancient graces. They can come. God rest your spirit upon us once again. Oh Lord, your rest, your spirit is upon us. We will not stop. We will stop. We will not stop. We will not stop. Just like him. We will not stop. 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 this is the generation of Pandira City Project. We will stop. We will stop. We will look just like him. We will stop. 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 We I hope we will not Yahweh We Yahweh in Jesus mighty we are praying Amen. activations activations realms dimensions activations <laughs> and now we'll go I will go, I will go to Mount Zion. I will go, and I will go. I will bring Mount Zion to this place. I will go, I will go, I 
Cuando Sur Mount Zion I will bring Mount Zion to this place Hallelujah Hallelujah Hold someone Zion There are angels in this place. Angels in this place. Angels in this place. Men and women will rise from here tonight. There is an army rising. 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 We will not stop. We will not stop. Until we are soaked. Until we are wet. The angel of the Lord's presence is here. The angel of the Lord's presence is here. Anything can happen anytime from now. There is a power to pray. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. One time I cried for a dimension of teaching. The teaching anointing. I cried for it. I, I, I cried for it. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, give it to me. It's possible. If it is available, it is accessible. As long as it is available, you can get it. You can get it. It only takes desperacy. You have to be desperate and deliberate. You have to be desperate. Lift up your hand. Mantles are begin to the church. Mantus will be falling in this place yet tonight for the kings to be born and for the mantus to return for the hearts to arise for the boys to return hey hali hali yo hali yo hali hali yo 